I'm uh, presenting a robot-assisted hypogastric artery embolization prior to endovascular aneurysm repair. This patient is a 69-year-old gentleman with an asymptomatic 3.6 centimeter right common iliac artery aneurysm and a 3.4 centimeter abdominal aortic aneurysm. There has been interval growth of the right common iliac artery aneurysm from 2.9 centimeters to 3.6 centimeters over the last year. Past medical history is significant for hypertension, coronary artery disease, status post-denting, and hyperlipidemia. Relevant medications include metoprolol, aspirin, and atorvastatin. Here is the patient's uh, CT angiogram. So you can see that there's a small infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm, but here we see, you can see that there's a large right common iliac artery aneurysm, which extends all the way to the right hypogastric artery, and there's also a small uh, left common iliac artery aneurysm as well. On the left here, we have 3D reconstruction images, which again demonstrate the small infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm and the bilateral common iliac artery aneurysms right greater than left. Um, on the axial images on the right, again, you can see that the right common iliac artery aneurysm extends all the way to the right hypogastric artery. Initial angiogram here shows a very steep aortic bifurcation, uh, which uh, definitely presents a challenge. Our treatment plan for this patient was embolization of the right hypogastric artery followed by EVAR or endovascular aneurysm repair with a bifurcated endograft which would treat the patient's small aortic aneurysm as well as the bilateral common iliac artery aneurysms. So rationale for utilization of the Magellan robotic system in this case was that the aortic bifurcation was extremely steep, making a crossover or up and over approach extremely challenging and difficult with the standard manual catheters. In fact, during attempted manual catheterization, although we were able to advance a guide wire to the contralateral iliac artery, it was impossible to advance the sheath over the aortic bifurcation as stability could not be achieved and the sheath kept buckling out. The goal of the Magellan robotic system in this case was to achieve stable access to allow for embolization of the contralateral hypogastric artery. This is our robotic uh, room setup, uh, which uh, you can see the robot here on the left and uh, kind of the rest of the room setup uh, on the right. The remote physician console is actually in the corner of the room. Uh, it can also be outside of the room as well. This slide demonstrates the remote physician console, uh, which is remote from the patient and allows uh, for uh, radiation protection. And via this remote physician console, the physician has complete control of the guide wire, and all aspects of robotic catheter movement. So here are CINE images from our uh, robotic catheterization of the right common iliac artery by this leader catheter, which is 6 French. This is followed by the 9 French sheath from the robotic catheter being advanced over the 6 French leader catheter. I'm going to play this one more time just to demonstrate uh, how well the robotic catheter uh, tracks here. Again, the, this is a six French leader catheter being tracked over the glide wire, followed by advancement of the nine French sheath over this very steep aortic bifurcation. The robotic catheterization was very smooth and relatively easy to perform. Again, uh, these static images again demonstrate advancement of the guide wire, followed by the leader catheter, followed by the nine French robotic catheter. The right hypogastric artery was subsequently selected with the leader catheter, and a selective angiogram was performed as demonstrated on the third static image here. This was followed by advancement of an 8-millimeter amplaster device into the hypogastric artery and uh, easy deployment here. The angiogram performed immediately after deployment of the amplaster uh, through the 6 French leader catheter shows that there's still some flow going through this amplatzer device. But in our experience, with a little bit time, um, the amplatzer will completely occlude the vessel as shown on this one-minute post-deployment angiogram. On the left here, we have uh, an aortogram prior to uh, EVAR, which shows occlusion of the right hypogastric artery by the amplatzer plug. 
On the right here is our final aortogram following uh, endovascular aneurysm repair, which shows uh, good deployment of the bifurcated endograft with uh, no evidence of endoleak. In conclusion, anatomic challenges of the aortic bifurcation and the iliac arteries, including tortuosity and a very steep angled bifurcation, can make getting up and over a very time-consuming and sometimes impossible endeavor. The robotic catheter in this case allowed for stable access with subsequent advancement of the robotic leader catheter and the nine French sheath with relative ease. Although not shown on this case, we've also performed this endeavor when we're getting over a prior endograft which has been deployed for treatment of peripheral arterial disease. The robotic catheter does allow advancement of the robot over an aortic endograft. Stable position and ability to manipulate the leader catheter into the hypogastric artery in this case allowed for safe and rapid embolization with the Amplacid device. The robotic catheter potentially reduced procedural time as well as radiation exposure to the patient, operators, and the staff. Improved precision and stability with the robotic catheter eliminated the need for catheter exchanges and allowed for control angiograms.